Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert. I've got a track and uh, I want to run it through a limiter to get it to a suitable loudness level for streaming services. Um, that may or may not include actually introducing any limiting, but I want to make sure that the loudness level is right. Um, I didn't know until quite recently that uh, FabFilter Pro L2 does loudness. Um, I usually go to things like the Avid Pro Limiter for this, but uh, Pro L2 is great, so uh, let's use this. Uh, very quickly, let's have a quick look at the limiter itself before we get into the loudness. What we've got here is we've got peak levels across here, and this wiggly line is the RMS level, as shown here on these meters. Um, it's a fixed threshold device, so you wind in some gain over here, and that brings the audio up against this fixed threshold and limits it. Uh, that's right up the top at the moment, though. So what we're going to do is set our ceiling first. I'm going to wind this back to, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, minus... Uh, 0 0.5, right about there. Um, and what we're going to do now is uh, we've got True Peak Limiting switched in, and if we introduce some gain, we'll see the level of the audio starts to meet that threshold, and limiting happens as a result. OK. Um, if you get aggressive, it starts to change the sound as well as make it louder. And if you bypass, you get this same old problem of with so much gain being introduced, it's hard to hear the other differences. So another button you should definitely try out is this one down here, this Unity button. What that does is it'll wind this down to counteract gain introduced over here. So when you bypass, until you run out of road, things stay very comparable, like so. So bringing that back in again, we can uh, see that we've got some limiting happening even on this quiet section, but we can now compare the difference, which is kind of handy. Okay, on to the loudness stuff. So we don't need this anymore. Um, over here, we have our different meter scales, so we can adjust the range up here. We've got K system as well, but if we hit loudness, we get a load of new stuff. I don't think we need this anymore. So what we've got is we've got integrated, short-term and momentary. They're all measuring loudness, which is the way the ear perceives it rather than the amount of energy in the signal. I think we've got a bit too much gain going on there. Let's wind this back. But what we're looking for is minus 14 for streaming services. They're, they're all around about that 14 mark. They, they change very slightly. There's the other ones like the film stuff, for, uh, yeah, EBU and ACSC, and this minus nine for CD, which is slightly arbitrary, but it's something that some people seem to use. Anyway, we'll go for minus 14. So all we need to do is we just need to introduce some gain to get this integrated level. Well, let's start off just actually, if you change this over, if I select short term here, the order of these change. So we've now got short term here, integrated and momentary. Momentary is exactly what it sounds like, the loudness at a particular instant. Short term, is uh, it's over it's over a handful of seconds and integrated is since you last hit this reset button like so i'm going to use this to wind in an appropriate amount of gain just to get ballpark and we'll see what happens to that integrated sorry not the integrated the short term climbs we're around about that minus 14 mark now and you can't rely on that so we'll go to integrated refresh again aiming for 14 not bad, actually. Pretty much ballpark straight away. Let's go around again. Uh, maybe a little bit more gain. Now we have, of course, got control over the style and uh, attack and release and stuff like that. But we don't need any of this right now. We're just trying to get as close as we can to that minus 14. This here, LRA, that's the loudness range. You can probably see that shrink over time but there's a reasonable amount of dynamic being left in here because we're nowhere near this ceiling that we've set. In fact, we're unlikely to hit any limiting at all, but that doesn't matter, that's good. If I let that play through, I think we're probably gonna end up around about there. Go up to minus 14, we're still slightly quiet. And running around again, probably find. Factoring in that quiet bit at the beginning, we're probably around about there. 
So anyway, that's how to set up uh, for uh, as, uh, a loudness workflow for streaming services using the FabFilter Pro L2. Really, really quick, really easy, and uh, combined with such a generally usable and good sounding limiter, you know, this, is, this is a really happy place to be for this kind of work.